Dune by K.C. Kelly, illustrated by Bob Ostrom. How did June get its name? What are some famous holidays celebrated during this month? Were any famous people born in June? Welcome to June. Welcome summer. Summer begins every June 20th or 21st. That means that one of those days is the longest day of the year. People have celebrated this event for thousands of years. It's called the summer solstice. With long days and good weather, June is filled with fun. Many people enjoy summer vacations and picnics. June is the sixth month of the year and it has 30 days. How did June get its name? The ancient Romans called their main female god Juno. They named the month of June in her honor. Three cool things about June. June joins April and May as months that can also be girls' names. In Earth's Southern Hemisphere, June 20th or 21st is the shortest day. June is a big month for high school and college graduation ceremonies. Birthstone. Each month has a stone linked to it. People who have birthdays in that month call it their birthstone. For June, it's the pearl. Pearls are actually not stones. They are made inside oysters which formed them over many years. June around the world. Here is the name of this month in other languages. In Chinese, it's Liu Yue. In Dutch, it's Juni. In English, it's June, of course. French, it's June. In German, it's Der Juni. In Italian, it's Giorno. In Japanese, it's Rogugatsu. In Spanish, it's Junio. And in Swahili, it's Huni. Weddings galore. Many people choose to marry in June. Part of the reason is from ancient Rome. The name for June comes from a Roman god of marriage. June also has the longest days and some of the nicest weather. So wedding celebrations could last a long time. Big June Holidays. Summer Solstice. The longest day of the year is often a big party day. In Europe, it's called Midsummer. People hold big festivals. Such celebrations have been held for centuries. People in ancient Britain gathered on the solstice to enjoy the long day of sunlight. Some believe that Britain's famous Stonehenge Monument was built to catch the sun on this day. Flag Day, June 14th. On June 14th, 1777, Congress approved the look of the United States flag. Today, we celebrate the stars and stripes that stand for our country by flying the flag and wearing red, white, and blue. Father's Day, the third Sunday in June. The third Sunday in June is for dads. Father's Day has been an official holiday since 1972. Children often honor their dad with cards and presents. Some families have picnics and cookouts. Juneteenth. The end of slavery is certainly something to celebrate. President Abraham Lincoln had freed slaves in 1863. But on June 19, 1865, Union soldiers finally arrived in Texas. They again declared slavery at an end in that state. That day became a holiday called Juneteenth in Texas. Soon, the idea spread to other states. Today, people celebrate Juneteenth as a day of freedom. They have barbecue, church services, and speeches. Some fun days in June. June has more ways to celebrate than just picnics and cookouts. Here are some of the unusual holidays you can enjoy in June. June 4th is Hug Your Cat Day. 
June 6th is National Yo-Yo Day. The first Friday in June is National Donut Day. And June 12th is Red Rose Day. June 20th is American Eagle Day. June 23rd is National Pink Day. June 28th is Paul Bunyan Day. And June 30th is Meteor Day. June weeks and months. Holidays don't just mean days. You can celebrate for a week too. You can also have fun all month long. Find out more about these ways to enjoy June. Some June weeks. National Fishing and Boating Week. Have you ever tried fishing? It's fun and can teach you about fish and the places they live. During fishing week, many areas offer free fishing and lessons on how to fish. Drop a line during fishing week. Duct tape days. Duct tape has been used to fix things since the 1940s. Today, people use duct tape for everything. They make wallets, hats, purses, clothes, and even toys. Celebrate this amazing sticky stuff this week by being creative. June months. National Candy Month. Right, we know. Every month is Candy Month. Well, June is the official month to honor this sweet stuff. Candy is great to eat, but like anything else, too much of anything is not a good idea. Some estimate that the average American eats 25 pounds of candy a year. That's good news for dentists. National Accordion Awareness Month. Do you know what, a, what an accordion is? This celebration wants to make sure you do. This musical instrument mixes keys like a piano with a squeeze box. The musician wears an, the accordion on straps. As air is pushed through, the keys make the music. National Camping Month. June is a great time to go camping. You can join thousands of folks who pitch a tent, cook outdoors, and make s'mores. Try going camping with several families at once. You can all chip in. June in history. On June 2nd, 1953, Elizabeth II became Queen of England. On June 10th, 1610, Dutch colonists arrive on the island that is now part of New York City. They called it New Amsterdam. D-Day. June 6, 1944 is known as D-Day. It was the biggest battle of World War II. German forces controlled France and much of Europe. American and British soldiers landed in France on this day. More than 1,100 aircraft and 2 million men took part in the attack. They rode across the English Channel in more than 6,000 boats. Thousands were killed or hurt that day, but they fought on. Their bravery helped free Europe from the Nazis. June 12, 1939. The Baseball Hall of Fame opened in Cooperstown, New York. In June 15, 1775, George Washington got a new job, commander of the Continental Army. He led the army to victory in the American Revolution. On June 18, 1928, Amelia Earhart landed in France. She was the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. On June 18, 1983, astronaut Sally Ride became the first American woman in space. 